Morning, Todd. Morning. You, you mentioned yesterday there could possibly be lineup changes for tonight. I'm wondering if you could tell us. Yeah, we're still still considering them. We'll see what uh, what we get out of LA's changes, and um, you know, at game time we'll try and determine who we throw out there. How how flexible or how positive is it to have the flexibility you have, and you can maybe compare that to other deep teams you've coached? Uh, well, we have we chose at the uh, at the deadline to keep a number of players here, my, the majority of them up front, so that they would garner some experience down the stretch um, with our team. And um, you look at Schlepp and Pakarinen and Kahara, those type of players that uh, we think it's important for them to be here now in the environment. Um, with that comes lineup decisions and not playing every night. So there's a catch-22 and a balance there. But it's been a long time since our organization stressed at this time of the year for these types of games and we wanted them to be part of it. Um, those options that are available to us are nice to have as well um, and I think I'm answering your question now. Um, different size, different elements, penalty kill people, left shots, right shots, um, maybe not so much on the back end but we feel we have um, you know seven that are very capable of playing there. Todd you've got extra forwards, but people keep saying, asking, when's Pugliarvi coming up? Because he's an offensive player as opposed to some of the players you've got like Packerin and and some of your extras who are good role players. Yeah, Jesse, in my opinion, is a, you know, he's, he's a top six, top nine player. So when he can come and uh, contribute there on a consistent basis, um, then he'll get an opportunity. But right now, we like what he's doing where he is. Um, you know, there was people questioned why we had him here to begin with, and now people question why we don't have him here to begin with. So, can't win. Todd, I wonder, LA is a big physical heavy team, especially in front of the net, and they tried to do that last night against the, uh, the Calgary Flames. How are you better equipped to deal with that as a team this year than maybe in years past? Well, they are, they are that. They, they create a lot of opportunities in and around the blue paint. Or D do a good job of getting pucks um, into that area, and their forwards grind it out. They uh, they score they score Stanley Cup goals. They've done it a couple times already in the blue paint. Um, we're better equipped because we have more experience there. I think our mobility, not never mind our size, but just our mobility back there, allows us to get into position quicker in and around the blue paint. And I think we have a little more experience handling things down low than we have in the past. Todd, so with, uh, with Cam and the workload, in talking to some of his teammates, it sounds like off the ice there's a lot of work being put in by him to keep himself you know, ready and that sort of thing. What do you observe off the ice in Talbot? Uh, well, he's doing exactly that. Nutrition, rest, treatments, workouts. Um, nothing out of the, the ordinary, just what the high-end athletes do all the time. Um, I would suspect it's very much similar to Holtby and Quick and these other goaltenders that have played, um, you know, 60 or 70 games a season over the last few years. So um, I don't think it's it's anything dramatically different by any means.